Buster Dance Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing a video talking about The Walking Dead Season 10. Of course, leading up to Episode 5, we're going to be doing our first Q&A for this week, starting off with the question, why haven't Rick, Maggie, Morgan, or Dwight return to The Walking Dead. Obviously, we know in real life why they haven't, but why in the show, logically, have they not made it back to the regular group? Okay, guys, so I wanted to do another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing the first Q&A video leading up to The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode uh, 5, which is called what it always is or something like that but anyway um i don't know why just this week i just can't get the title in my head i'm really not sure why but um anyway wanted to do my first q a for this week leading up to the walking dead season 10 episode 5 uh, of course uh, this friday for premiere uh, for premiere and uh this sunday for uh the, you know the regular uh, casual you know viewers so um or you know for people that can't get premiere or whatever but um i wanted to start off with the leading question for this video um which is that why haven't, and I love this question, and this, this video uh, is really suggested by Brian Archam, just to start at least. Um, why hasn't Rick, Maggie, Morgan, Dwight, or, you know, uh, you know, any of the characters are gone, really. Why haven't they come back, you know? Um, at, you know, what, what have the characters really been doing all these years to really, um, not return in some kind of way. And this, like I said, is suggested by Mar uh, Brian Archer. Brian Archer mentioned how Rick is gone, how Maggie's gone, how, uh, you know, Morgan's gone, and how Dwight's gone. I believe those are the four characters you mentioned. And for Brian Archer to start off this video, um, I don't know, honestly, to, you know, just to, to kind of say, um, I think it really, they're going to have to figure out a good reason to have it make sense in the TV series, you know, because obviously the actors, you know, uh, while Morgan and Dwight are at fear, um, we don't even know if Morgan and Dwight are alive at this time, and we don't actually even know at this time in the Walking Dead series going into Season 10, Episode 5, where we are right now, if Rick is alive at that time. You know, I, 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 I have hope that he is. I have faith that Rick is still alive where the, uh, the series is at, you know, so many years after, but... You, we won't really ever know for sure until we actually see the movie. Rick could die in the movie. You know, I mean, honestly, it, it, I don't, I don't think they will. I think that'd be a huge, huge mistake, but, um, I don't know if it's 100% possible, and I don't think it's 100% real to say that Andrew Lincoln, oh yeah, Rick is alive right now, currently, where The Walking Dead Season 10 is at in the timeline. I don't think it's guaranteed. And to answer the question for Brian Archer at the beginning of this Q&A, um, I don't know. I, I think for right now, honestly, uh, you know, season 10, uh, you know, with all the characters that are gone, obviously Maggie's going to be returning, so we'll understand why she's been gone for a while. But Morgan, Dwight, and Rick, they're going to have to work around that, why the characters haven't returned, you know, for so long. Um, but definitely a very good question. Thank you very much, Brian Archer, for the question. Next one also comes from Brian Archam, who says, uh, why is Magna's group outside of Hilltop fighting the walkers alone? Where is everybody else? Question mark. So, uh, again, this one for Brian Archam. I don't think this episode, episode four, with Magna's group outside of the Hilltop walls really uh, doesn't make sense. I'm one of the only people to think it actually... It does make sense, you know. The tree is down. In in the tree has fallen. There's a lot of people injured. There's a lot of people. They have to tend to the people that are injured. Um, and also try to figure out how this tree went down. Try to defend that part of the wall that crashed. You know, that part of the wall as well. Um, that crashed and stuff like that. So. You know, honestly, there's zombies everywhere. It just, it, it, to me, it makes sense. You know, I feel like they're like, okay, good for you, you guys, which is Magnus Group. You guys go here. You guys cover this part. We'll cover this part. Everybody else will, uh, you know, help the injured people. To me, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, you could say they could have had a few other people fighting along with Magnus Group. But honestly, I mean, I don't think, it, it's not terrible to the point where I'm like, oh, that's unrealistic. You know, I, I don't think so. Thank you very much for the question. Next one comes from Eastside Badger, who says, "Do you think that the war uh, will uh, start uh, by the mid-season finale?" And it kind of goes into, "Is it is it going to start in episode five? Will it end at the end of season ten? Will it even actually go into season eleven? And kind of uh, wanting me to answer that question. So I've actually gotten the uh, how when will the Whisper War start? Uh, you know, actually a lot throughout the last couple weeks, which is like. I've gotten the question so many times from so many different people, but it's like, I understand it. You know, everybody's antsy to see the war with the Whisper start. So Eastside Badger, I totally understand. Uh, the, the, the war is taking a while for the Whispers. I, I thought 
The one thing I'm the most disappointed with this season is that I really, really thought that at least by episode three or four, um, we would have had some kind of confrontation. We've really had none. Uh, and I'm, I am. I'm a little disappointed in that. That's the one thing from season 10. I'm like, man, when are we going to see this? You know, it's, it's honestly season seven frustrating. Like, like season seven when Rick and the others just won't fight back. We just can't see all at war until season eight because, you know, we have to have all these other events happen and, you know, the budget's just not right. And it's like, honestly, I feel like, I feel like what they're doing, they're saving most of their budget for the second half of the season with the war with the Whispers. And to an that's me answering your question, Freeside Badger. Um, I think the war is going to be is going to start in the mid season finale. I think they're going to do a certain comic part uh, that I'm not going to mention. People know what it is. Issue 156. Don't spoil it for people, please. Um, you guys, issue 156, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I think that we'll see that event in the mid-season finale, and that will start the Whisper War. That is not spoilers right there. I didn't let anything out. So, um, I think so. I, I think that's probably how it'll start. I think it'll start in, in the mid-season finale, and I would love it, because you would have that issue 156 moment, you know, um, it, it'd be a big deal, and then you could, lit I'm getting so excited, right, and, and then, and then you could have, um, you know, like, the characters, you could have the, the characters kind of know that a battle's coming with the Whispers once that event happens in the mid-season finale. They could do the issue 156 moment in the, in the mid-season finale, and then you could literally do a promo for the second half, right after the credits, after the episode is done, before Talking Dead starts promoting the hell out of the Whisper War. That would just be awesome, in my opinion. I know I'm getting really overexcited, but man, that would be sick. If they if they had that moment, like I said, if they had that issue 156 moment from the comics, uh, no spoilers, in the mid-season finale, they end it with that, they leave it off for the first half with that moment, and then you have a promo of, of the, the war, you know, for the second half, and you have, you know, promote it as the Whisper War return in February to see, I, it's, oh my god, I would get the chills if I saw a promo like that, to be honest, but, um... And honestly, I, I don't think it's impossible. I think that's probably what we're going to see. And somehow mix in Michonne's exit and stuff like that. Maybe death, but, you know, a lot of people are thinking exit. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you guys, uh, thank you guys so much for your questions. Uh, and I do want to also say for everybody else that wants to be part of the Q&A series, uh, write some Q&A questions down in that comment section below. I don't know when I'll do another one, either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I do want to take a look at the ratings for uh, this, uh, this episode. I haven't seen the ratings yet. I think they're up today, so I might check those out. Maybe we'll cover that as well tomorrow during the... Uh, q a so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching this video write your comments in that comment section below and of course leading questions right now why haven't rick maggie morgan dwight returned uh you know why why you know and another question is too is when will the whisper war start that's that's really one of the other questions i really want to ask you guys when do you guys think the whisper war is going to start um and don't don't tell me how you think it's going to start because I know a lot of people read the comics. So uh, I just don't want it spoiled for people. You know, that's a big event. And I'm sure people are – the spoiler is probably all over the place already by a bunch of idiots that are just writing it on, online. I hate when people write comic stuff when, when TV-only viewers are seeing it. TV only viewers see those comments and are like, oh man, you just ruined it for me, you know? Uh, and I feel bad for those people, I really do. So I just kind of want to make that point clear as well. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, like I said, if you're new here, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Walking Dead videos, the usual stuff. You guys know how it goes. And I'll catch you guys really soon for another Q&A video. Peace out, guys.